Vocaloid. Let's take a look at Vocaloid 5. If you're not familiar with Vocaloid, this is a software instrument used to create digital vocals to be spoken or used as a singer for your music. And I'll give you a walkthrough of this software. Once the software is installed on your computer, this is the standalone editor that you'll work out of. This editor can also be opened up as a VST in a variety of DAWs for you to work in as well. Although for now, I'll use the standalone editor. So the first thing I'll do is open up this media browser. And you can see I have a large list of preset files to choose from. Although I'll narrow this down a bit and choose my female singer, Amy. English language, a soulful phrase, and something that is bright and clean. So for example, I'm not afraid. I'm not afraid. So I'll drag this into a Vocaloid track and I can play this back within the editor. I'm not afraid. It's a little fast, so I'll slow down the tempo to about 110. I'm not afraid. And I'll double click on this phrase and you can see the notes appear within the editor below. And these notes all have lyrics attached. And each syllable is split between each individual note. I'm not afraid. And for another example, these two singers over here are Japanese singers. So they don't have access to the English phrases at the moment, although they have access to the Japanese phrases. So for example, this Japanese phrase, I can drag this phrase into the editor creating a new Vocaloid track as well. And the layout is exactly the same, except the pronunciation for the Japanese words are more precise when choosing a Japanese singer. Although we'll be using Amy now in English, so I'll simply click on this track and hit the delete key, and he's gone. Now let's head back to Amy. I'll create a loop over here, so it's simple to play the examples back. And I can now start editing Amy's vocal phrase. For example, I can highlight all these notes and simply move them up with the arrow key on my keyboard. No, I'm not afraid. So I'm now changing the melody, although I'm keeping the lyrics and vocal style intact. I can move the first note up as well. I'm not afraid. Or I can move them all down to any note I'd like. You can see it's very simple to change the notes around. You can change the length and the rhythmic placement of the notes as well, if you'd like. And an amazing thing you can do is write in your own lyrics. So this phrase right here is saying, I'm not afraid. Although, say I'm writing a song, and I want to keep the same idea that the singer is not afraid of something. Although, maybe I don't want to use the word afraid because it doesn't fit with the following line or something. It could be any reason. Although, I want to change this from, I'm not afraid, to... I'm feeling brave. And when I hit the enter key, you can see the lyrics automatically distribute between each note. I'm feeling brave. Since this phrase has the same amount of syllables, it fits within the melody perfectly. So we can change the rhythm and the melody of these notes along with writing in any lyrics we'd like. So at this point, you can already see how amazing this is. Although I'll take it further by editing each note to have its own characteristic and feeling. So I'll click on this first note and I'll enable this button over here. And now I can choose a specific type of beginning and end type of feeling for each individual note. And this is done with the attack and the release. Attack adjusts the beginning of the note and release adjusts the end of the note. So for example, I'll choose this down effect. And you can see this orange line shows the note is bending up from a higher note to the chosen note. Or I can bend it up to the note by choosing up. And when I hold the Option key on a Mac keyboard, I can click on the beginning of the note and raise the style amount of this effect. So you can see the effect is bending from a very low point now. And it's a little too much here, so I can bring this down to the original point or drop it even lower to bring a small pitch bend to the beginning of this note. And I can change the end of this note as well with the release effects where on this note, I'll add a small vibrato at the end of the note. And this will add a slight wavering pitch bend at the end of the note to replicate the sound of a real singer adding vibrato to their singing. I'm feeling brave. 
And when holding down the Option key again and clicking on the end of this note, I have a slightly different meter to control the vibrato, as I can control both the pitch amount and the speed of the pitch movement. So I can bring the pitch down slightly along with slowing down the movement of the pitch bends. I'm and for an example, I can push up the pitch height along with speeding up the pitch bends. I'm Although I'll go back to the slower moving vibrato by simply using the undo hotkey. And one other thing you can do here while holding the option key is dragging the endpoint out to determine exactly when you'd like the vibrato effect to start. I'm These are very simple parameters, although you can hear how great they can change a single note alone for a full vocal melody. And I won't go into all the effects now, although there are some more complex ones, such as this effect. And you can see when holding down the option key again, I can use this meter to push up or push down the notes this effect is bending to. And this will create some more interesting melody movements. And there's a lot of effects to choose from within each of these tabs over here. To add one more humanized characteristic to this phrase, I'll simply click on this button, which is the same as holding down the option key on your keyboard as seen before. And I'll click on this breath button over here. And you could see this little breath is now added at the beginning of the phrase. And we could edit the type of breath within the style tab over here. Click on customize and this full window appears to edit the singer even farther. This section over here controls the breath amount. So I can bring this down in volume a bit so it's not as powerful. I'm feeling brave. You can also adjust other parameters such as how often the breath occurs by chance along with choosing a male or female breath. There's also a robot voice section, which essentially snaps notes directly to the given note, avoiding slow pitch bends to create a digital sounding voice. For a good example of this, I'll head into the media browser again and choose a chopped vocal phrase. And here's another similar style with a female voice. So these are two examples utilizing the robot voice, and you can see the pitch jumps directly to each note, avoiding any type of bending or natural singing movements. There's this full voice coloring section as well to simply change the characteristic of the voice. For example, I can add some more breath or air to this voice to bring a mixture between a digital sound and a natural airy sound. <laughs> turn these back down. And this is also a useful feature, the cool or cute setting. Essentially cool will bring a deeper sound to the vocal, creating a more adult like sound. And cute will bring more of a childlike sound to the vocal. And the final thing to take a look at here are the audio effects. This is a very interesting part of Vocaloid 5. And the interesting part is that this male vocal phrase and this female vocal phrase both have different audio effects attached to the phrase. Even when they're within the same track, I can add different audio effects to each singer and each phrase. To create the effect that two different singers are singing together on the same track with their own unique sound. And I can simply add more effects into this chain by secondary clicking and choosing add audio effect. I'll add a reverb and I can adjust the audio effect within the Vocaloid 5 editor, similar to any other DAW I would use. And I can simply do this all within the editor here. So you can see it's very simple to add your own audio effects onto each singer and create your own unique sound very quickly and easily. And if you're not sure what type of styles or audio effects to start off with, there's a whole bunch of preset styles within the style tab for you to choose from. And these are combining various style settings and audio effects to get you started with something to work with quickly and easily. 
You can see how much is available to you based on starting with the preset alone. Now let's take this one step farther by creating a vocal melody from scratch. I have created a new project and from here I'll start creating a vocal phrase from scratch. And to get started with this, I'll first bring in some music to work with. So alongside creating Vocaloid tracks, I can also create audio tracks. So I'll secondary click and choose add audio track to create an audio track within the editor. And I'll drag in some audio from my computer to this track. The audio sample is at a tempo of 126, so I'll speed this up a bit. Okay, so I'll title this beat. And from here, I'll use the pencil tool to draw in an empty phrase on the Vocaloid track. And you can see this is automatically set to the singer Chris. You can choose whichever singer you'd like to start with within the preference window. Although for now, I'll work with Chris. I'll double click on the phrase to see the Vocaloid editor below. And from here, I can click on some notes to see where I'd like to start. I'll start on this note over here and I'll draw on a melody using the grid here. Now I'll write in some lyrics. I'll write something that fits within the amount of notes we have here. So I'll write something like, oh so long. And with long, I'll add a little dash to this word. So it now extends across multiple notes, bending up to the following note. Oh so long. I can do this over here as well. And over here, I'll write something that plays along with the first part. So something like, it's been so long, it's been so long, time's running out, we have to meet, this kind of thing. So time's running out. Oh, so long, oh, so long, time's running out. Yeah, I really like the way this sounds already. Although I can still take this farther, so I'll jump into the attack and the release to add some more emotion to each note. I can also get rid of the breath for a cleaner sound. And this is what we now have. All right, I'll title this lead vocal. And there we go. From here, we can even start adding harmonies and various background singers to this as well. And a quick way to do this is to simply copy and paste the Vocaloid track with the lead singer to create a duplicate of the track. I'll change the color of this track and title this Harmony 1. Now I can simply delete some of these notes and adjust other notes up or down to create harmonies with the lead vocal. I'll bring the volume down a bit. And this is what we get. So this is really amazing. We can create both lead vocals and background vocals within a single editor on multiple tracks. And this being used as a standalone editor or as a VST within your own DEW can be a super helpful tool for your own music production as a virtual singer to add to any song you're working with. And to build this out even farther, I'll stack some more harmonies in here by continuing the same method. And along with adjusting the volume a bit, I'll also adjust the panning, meaning I can spread out each track farther to the left or right of the stereo output, creating a wider background vocal sound. And to get the mix even closer, I can jump into the mixer for more detailed mixing. And that's really it. This is an amazing instrument, and I can see this being used very strongly in the modern music production world for many types of vocal parts, whether it be a lead vocal, a background vocal, a vocal chop, a one-shot sample. There's so many ways to apply this, and I'm really looking forward to seeing how far people take all these ideas, along with all the new types of music we'll be able to hear from it. From here, I can now save this project and open it up in the future whenever I'd like, or I can export this audio as individual audio tracks or the full project's master track to use in any way I'd like. Oh, so long, oh, so long, time's running out.